What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out the video. So today we're gonna to be talking about some TMNT uh, conspiracies and a few other, well, there's some pictures going around the internet and um, I don't know, they're just some weird ones. I wanted to talk about them, see what y'all thought and uh, give my two cents on whether or not they're real, some variants, errors, uh, or what's going on with these pictures. And we're also gonna be doing a little bit of investigating with our help from GSB. And uh, we're gonna be looking at these fan club flyers and just seeing exactly how easy it is uh, to manipulate those. So let's go ahead, jump right in and uh, talk about this first one. All right, so first up, we've got Slash. I know uh, I've been talking a lot about this guy right now, but man, he is just red hot right now. All the variants, it's got the purple belt with the yellow S, purple belt with the red S, and the yellow chest. We got the yellow belly, which is super big right now. All right, and thanks to Back in Time Toys, we've got this mustard belly with the purple belt on card. Uh, just for reference here, and then here is the yellow belly purple belt with the red S. These are some well-known variants of Slash, but this upcoming one, um, I have talked about it in the past. All right, so as I've said, this one here is a very special Slash, and this is, uh, as far as I know, the only known photo of this yellow belly Slash with the black belt and uh, other than that, not too much more is known about it. So uh, for that, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as an error. For now, at least. And if anybody has any information on this, please hit me up on Instagram and let me know. I know I've already said it and I talked about it in the previous video, but these yellow belly slashes are so hot right now. Um, but I mean, could you imagine adding this yellow belly slash to your arsenal? Um, that would be absolutely incredible. I mean, I just don't even know. What I mean, Slash is just like a cool character in itself, and he already has a bunch of variants, but imagine that one, man. That would be so cool. But uh, let's get to this next one. Man, when I first saw this thing, I was blown away. Um, so I got this picture from d Rob Gaming. I do not recall if he had it in his collection or if he just got the picture from somewhere, but... Uh, apparently, these were given out to some of the Playmates employees. I guess some of the higher-ups or uh, whatever maybe requested them or something. But uh, these things are phenomenal. I absolutely love this and I would love to have this in my collection. But So yes, this is real but unreleased. Just so crazy to think about like how many of these were actually made. How many are still out there? Like, Just unreal. Man, oh man, that Silver Shredder looks incredible. I would absolutely love to have one of those. Uh, I know they did it later uh, with the Toon Shredder, uh, but on that original card back, man, that looks fantastic. If there's uh, any employees out there uh, from Playmates that has one of those that's looking to sell it, please let me know. I'll snatch that up real quick. All right, so we all know the Rock and Roll Mikey, or as he's more commonly known, Wacky Action uh, Mikey. But have you ever seen this one? This one here, as you can see, uh, does looks pretty normal. See anything? Oh, what about that tongue? He's got that white tongue. I don't know about you, but uh, when I first saw this, I was like, wait, what in the heck is going on here? How does this happen? Uh, but apparently it did, uh, and it's been graded, and it's going for about $10,000. But when you got a wacky action Mikey with a white tongue, I mean, you could ask for just about anything. So, um, unfortunately, I, uh, I tried to, I, this is the picture that I got originally, and I tried to look them up on eBay. I wasn't able to find it. I don't know if he took it down or it sold. But I uh, can't get those other pictures. But uh, apparently this is a variant. Yep, a real variant. Uh, it was graded. And uh, I guess uh, we'll go with that for now. Now, of course, I must admit, I haven't always been the biggest uh, wacky action uh, fan. Uh, or Mikey fan, for that matter. Uh, but that white tongue is pretty dang uh, unique and very cool. Uh, but man, $10,000, um, I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, it's, it's unique. It's got that unique price tag, 
um, but I don't know. Are you guys you guys uh, willing to drop 10 G's on that one just for the white tongue? I mean, it's pretty cool, but I don't know. I could probably think of a few other things I'd like to spend 10 grand on, but uh, that's just me. All right, guys, let's dive into these fan club flyers. So every single one of these right here is a so-called fan club flyer. It's got the little flyer in there and um, they've been graded and yada, yada, yada. But there's always a little bit of doubt with these things, the placement of them behind the weapons, behind the figure, in front. Obviously, if you can see it right here, these are the ones that are the most well-known and say, okay, that's got to be a real fan club flyer. But there is also... Uh, ones like this thanks to GSB uh, for helping us out with this video um, there's ones like this that he picked up for a steal just in the off chance that it happened to be real but these are kind of uh, up for debate obviously that right there um, is kind of an odd placement for it and um, a lot of people say that the foot soldiers didn't have fan club flyers so um, this one here as you can see like i said he picked up for a good deal and um even if it was not exactly real it's still cool to have in the collection and like anybody knows i mean having an extra foot soldier in your collection especially on card is always a good thing but like i said everything in the team and t world's always up for debate so some people say that there weren't foot soldiers with them but here according to wheel jacks lab uh in 2022 a official fan club flyer for a foot soldier sold for five thousand dollars on ebay november 17th 2022 but l some of these are up for debate so my good friend here gsb is going to demonstrate or at least see how easy it is to get this <laughs> there you go boom right in there um and you know there's a little sl a little slit down there at the bottom for a vent, um, I guess to prevent I don't know fogging or whatever um, from getting in there. But as you can see here, with a little bit of help and a little bit of time, um, you know you could potentially um, manipulate these and get a you know a so-called regular ten back. Um, turned into a fan club flyer which obviously ups the value on said figure so i mean it's not it's not exactly easy so far um but um that one that one didn't exactly work uh so far but let's see let's see what else we got going on here all right, so now he's going to try and uh, stick something in there to see if he can manipulate it a little bit more. And you might think to yourself, like, man, would anybody really go to all this trouble to try to, um, you know, make something, you know, make a fake figure like this? But yes, for money and anything, any it, people will do anything for money. So, I mean, this people have done a lot worse but as you can see here um what's that oh he's got the little uh the, what the heck they call that thing i forget um but anyway he's getting it in there and uh getting it closer and closer and he's uh okay i oh there it is look at that boom it literally looks exactly like the foot soldier how crazy is that Wow, thank you, GSB. That was incredible. That video was super cool. I've always wanted to kind of try that, but always kind of didn't want to just stick a random piece of paper in there and see. So now we know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to give GSB a follow on Whatnot and Instagram. So if you do see these on eBay, um, be careful. I mean, I've seen them try and sell for about $25,000. And uh, I don't know about you, but um, it's all about the fan club placement for me. So uh, that's just a little tidbit for me. Well, guys, that's going to just about wrap up this video on the conspiracies and variants and stuff like that. Uh, but it got me kind of thinking about what other types of uh, mocks are out there that are still undiscovered. Um, what type of other variants? I mean, that Mikey with the white tongue. I mean, man, that was, when I saw that, that thing blew my mind. I was like, how is that even possible? Um, so just thinking, you know, what, what other ones are out there? I mean, there's potentially figures that uh, have the wrong accessories, uh, missing accessories, 
um, or you know fan club flyers that um, didn't get put in with the beaded chucks um, I mean who knows what's out there so if there's anything out there that uh, is just absolutely wild or unique that you've seen please hit me up on Instagram let me know uh, send me a picture um, and uh, or if there's anything out there that you've heard about or seen or even thought about let me know down in the comments and uh, thanks for watching guys I'll catch you in the next one hey dudes Danny here don't forget to like and subscribe to Shellback Toy Rewind Cowabunga!